Uh, some myths about uh, the transmission of HIV are, you know, about contact with people who are HIV positive, uh, shaking them, hugging them, kissing them. People still think that uh, they can get, uh, they can catch uh, the HIV virus, but it is not true. Um, even sharing uh, utensils, spoons, cups, and um, pots, it will not affect, or even bedding, it will not affect. It is only when um, there is sexual uh, contact uh, between two people, intimate sexual contact, that uh, it can get transmitted if no protection is used. You know, HIV can look like me, it can look like you. You know, it can be black, white, young, old. You know, in the team that I've been working in, there's a man in his 70s, there's a young woman of 27, there's people that are fat, skinny, black, white, Muslim, Christian. You know, you know it's a, it's a condition. I work full time. I've worked full time all the way through from diagnosis to, to meds. Um, my HIV is just something that I got on with on a day to day basis now. I think there's a huge learning gap in this country between what HIV is and what AIDS is. And I think, for whatever reason, good, bad, or otherwise, sadly, that the, the responsibility to educate our families and our friends falls on the person who's quite often dealing with their own new diagnosis, and it's like there's a huge learning curve and integration that has to go on at that point. I was brought and brought up on the, um, the big tombstone with AIDS, don't, and it, was, it really worked because it's obviously really terrifying. But, you know, in the mid-'80s, that was relevant because there wasn't the medication, and it, it was, you know, you was told you had it, and that was it. Whereas now, you know, obviously, like I said, it's not, it's not good news to be told, but it's, it's not bad news. You know, you can carry on, you know, with, with, with HIV the same as anybody else. I realised that actually I could be able to have more children if I wanted to. I had a discussion with this antenatal counsellor at the hospital I used to go to and she gave me a really, um, some really interesting information. I went, I went away really, really happy knowing that at some point in the future when I was happy and comfortable, I would be able to have another child because my dream had always been to have six. <laughs> <laughs> but I had, I had two, and I'd thought that with the HIV diagnosis, there was no way you could have a child and they're not positive. But that was just a myth. I actually went ahead and, and had um, a caesarean section just to make sure that I did everything according to the books. And the baby was also given medication for a few weeks. And my daughter, she's 10 years old now, and she was, she's HIV negative. There's a real common sort of misconception that I don't know anyone with HIV. And I think HIV isn't very visible, often because people are well on treatment. Um, but when you look at the figures, actually a lot of people will know someone with HIV. They may not just have told them that they're HIV positive. We see so much about AIDS, HIV in the developing world. I think lots of people almost compartmentalise it to over there. It's not something that happens here. It's not something that the UK is still affected by. And then it basically means that people are putting themselves at risk unnecessarily. Myths and misinformation about HIV can have a really damaging effect. Um, to give you an example, we see a lot written in the paper about worries about biting being a source of HIV infection. And we're aware of cases when children as young as four years old have been refused a place at school or excluded from school because there's worries among the teachers that's, that they may bite another child and give them HIV. So those sort of myths that become almost true to people can really affect the way that people are treated. Another example might be an employer, someone with HIV applies for a job and because they've read and believe that HIV will make that person very sick and they'll probably die soon, they don't consider them for, for work um, and therefore that has a really big impact on their lives. Most people with HIV are very cautious about telling other people that they're HIV positive for fear of their reaction and what they'll bring to it. And all the myths around HIV just feed into that stigma. Often there's blame and judgment attached, or people are afraid, and then that can impact on their relationship. So I think it's a real difficulty that the lack of public awareness and understanding can make it really difficult for people who are HIV positive.